people welcome back to some more card reviews so today we are looking at a new number monster yes we're at the end of the arc era going into the link era and yet konami still keeps on making number monsters really i gave up hope that we were ever going to get the full collection there was just going to be holes in the number line but i guess konami thinks otherwise so maybe eventually we might actually have all the numbers anyway today we are looking at number 41 baguska so he is a earth fiend xc effect monster Rank 4, 2100 attack, 2000 defense. So his attack isn't too high, but his defense isn't too low. It's just right there in the middle, which is, which is pretty good, pretty good. But when we have, you know, Castell and, you know, Abyss Dweller and Degustermo, I mean, 2100 attack is nothing that's got bad for Rank 4. But the awesome thing is he is generic, so it's just two level 4 monsters. So we'll find out if he's good enough to just throw in your extra attack with the likes of Castell, Utopia, and 2 Utopia, the Lightning, and Abyss Dweller. So... Let's look at this effect. So, while this card is in attack position, it cannot be targeted or destroyed by your opponent's card effects. But he's only 2100 attack. I could just run him over. You know, it's cool that it can't be targeted to destroy the card effects. So, you know, I can't, you know, just throw a lightning vortex or a dark hole or, you know, slumber him. Uh, it can't be targeted. Well, there's not too much targeting going around in the game right now, but I guess the generic targeting card we like to bring up is Compulse, but no one really plays Compulse. The fact still remains that, you know, you go into this guy, and if I can pulse him away, that would be an egg on your part, but uh, no, no, I can't compulse him. But I can hit him with a Solemn Strike, which is still at three. You know, yeah, uh, well, this card is an attack which can't be targeted or destroyed by card effects, but you see, you were never summoned yet, so you can go ahead and catch this strike. Anyway. Also, you can catch me outside. How about that? I just wanted to clear that out. <laughs> uh, the next effect reads, while this card is in face-up defense position. All right, so attack position can't be target destroyed by uh, or destroyed by card effects. In defense position, change all face-up monsters on the field to defense position. Also, negate the activated effect of defense position monsters on the field. So he becomes a lose one turn? Yeah, pretty much. While he's in defense position with his 2,000 booty, all face-up monsters on the field are in defense position and have their effects negated. So it's kind of like a pseudo-lose one turn. But that's also for you as well. So it just seems like you're kind of slowing down the duel until your opponent can figure out a way to handle this thing while it's just sitting there on defense position, just stalling the duel. Last effect. Once per turn, during your standby phase, you must detach one XC material from this card. This is not optional, or this card is destroyed. So... Either I'm going to sit there on the field for, what, two turns? Because I summon him, then my next standby phase, detaching the material, then the standby phase after that, detaching the material, and then the standby phase after that, I can't detach any more the materials unless I found some way to put some more on him. He's dead. So I get three turns, three turns out of him. To so either be in attack position where he can't be targeted or destroyed by my opponent's card effects, but he's only 21 under attack, so like I said, does that protect him from being short of battle? You just summon something and run his ass over, all right? Or I kind of act like a pseudo lose one turn and kind of stall the game for three turns. But it also affects me as well. Uh, but of course, you know, Link Monsters, Link Monsters, you know? Like, oh, well, I have him, you know, change all face up monsters in the field of defense position. And they're fixing the game, but then you summon a Link Monster, because remember, we're going to the Link era. You gotta remember what time that Konami releases these cards. You summon a Link Monster that's stronger than him, Link Monsters can't go to the defense position. So you, you know, you summon like a Deco Talker and run his ass right over. So even with these uh, in defense position trying to activate his lose one turn effect. So, and, you know, I get three turns of the targeted or destroyed by card effect in attack position, or three turns of lose one turn. But what does it do? You know, that's my gripe with this card. It doesn't do anything. Keep in mind, I went neg on this, you know? I exceed, you know, I took two level fours and exceeding this, I went neg one. The first effect is meh, nah, but it doesn't do anything. The second effect is meh, doesn't do anything, just kind of slows the game down. But you know, it's, not, it's like Castell, I get to target card on the field and spin it back to the deck. Whew, you know, this dweller, I get to, you know, negate them a graveyard effect. I'm going to get to put cards back, draw a card. You know, even Utopia with Utopia Lightning is a 2,500 on Mades that can go up to 5,000. You know, all of the other rank 4 monsters, generic rank 4 monsters that we play that you generally see in the extra deck, they do something, you know? They respond to something. This, it just sits there on the field until it dies. So, 
No, I don't. I, despite being a generic rank four, I don't think this card is that good. I don't think that it should be played in the extra deck at all. You know, there's even some things that are in line even higher than this. You know, I would even say, you know, one on one is higher than this. Cowboy is even higher than this. You know, Dark Rebellion Exceeds Dragon is higher than this. So, you know, despite that it being a number monster, despite being generic rank four, which I'm always glad to see because those cards are generally the strongest set. So toolboxy. I don't think that this card should be put in your toolbox. It just doesn't do anything. So anyway, tell me what you guys think about number 41, Baguska, in the comment section below. So I hope you guys enjoyed this card review. Of course, I'll be back next week with some more cards to look at. So if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, hit that bell for notifications. And uh, yeah, see you guys next week with some more cards to look at for card review. All right, people. Thanks for watching.